Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash off at wareva.com. Today we will learn how to make this basic onion chutney. So, for this uh, onion chutney, we are going to add some oil and then add red chilies. See, sometimes you see onion chutney little bit yellowish color, sometimes you see the red color. That is because the kind of red chilies you use. Here I am adding red chilies that are going to give a nice color. Add some tamarind, just uh, dry tamarind, just few pieces to give some sourness to this chutney. That should be good. In this, add onion and also add pinch of hing. If you like the flavor of hing, add hing, otherwise you can even skip the hing part. Now, you want these onions to be cooked to the consistency. Based on how much you cook these onions, the flavor will change. Some people fry these onions till they are slightly golden in color. That's when their chutney is more sweeter. And if you get it raw, your chutney is more saucy. So, whatever you like, you experiment. You know, once or twice, keeping the onions slightly raw and once you make cooking the onions fully. That's when you will know what you will like the most. In this, add salt. Now, adding tomatoes. Now, some people like to add tomatoes, some people don't. But, I love to add tomatoes in my chutney. Wow, little bit. See, adding tomatoes will give a very nice uh, smooth uh, texture to your sauce. Now, we need a flavoring ingredient as well as a thickening ingredient to make this chutney even more awesome. Here, I am going to show you four. Here, I have got uh, sesame seeds. Here, I have got cashew nut. Here, here I have got dahlia that is a roasted chana dal. And I have got some peanuts. Now, which one should we use? It depends upon the taste what you like, first thing. Second thing is, what are you eating it with? If I am having this with some dosa, appam or anything that is a fermented dough and cooked on a tawa, that's when I would rather use sesame seeds. And I would use peanuts if it is a fried item like even mirchi bhaji or anything with the onion chutney, they use peanuts. But to make it cheaper and a lot of places, to make it easy, even in a small, small restaurants, they use roasted chana dal. But if you want it slightly sweetish, and that's when you can add cashew nuts. When you add cashew nuts, it will be a mild flavor and you can eat it with any of them and nice onion flavors will dominate. Whereas when you use sesame seed and the peanuts, the peanut and sesame seeds flavor will slightly dominate. But you know, when you are making steam idli or another steam products, you know, I love to use the peanut. But to be very frank, all these concepts are stupid because ultimately what you like to your tongue, you make and add that and make your chutney. Here, I have my onions nicely cooked. So, today what I want to make my onion chutney depends on my wife taste but today. With one eye she said cashew nut, so I am going to add some cashew nuts. But trust me, I like the sesame seed one even better than cashew nuts. Do not add too much. Let this cook for one more minute and then we are going to make a chutney out of this. Before we finish, I am going to add some sweetness, add some jaggery that will make this chutney even more tasty. Do not add too much of sweetness, just little bit of uh, uh, jaggery should be good enough. Now this is all done, let us switch off the flame and let it slightly cool down. You know, put in a blender. If you need to add uh, some more water, you can always add some water and uh, make the chutney to your consistency you like. I do not like if it is made into a very fine paste. I like a coarse texture that makes this chutney even more tasty. This onion chutney, nothing like eating quick onion rava dosa. You know, I am sure you must have seen and tried my onion rava dosa. If you haven't, please do try. Ah. Mm. Wow. Crunchy. These red chilies what I used, they are meant to give a good color. They are not really, really hot. So if you can get hold of Kashmiri red chilies, use them. And also, you know, dear friends, if you follow the recipe what I have shown you exactly and make it, I am telling you, you will be licking the spoon till the steel melts away. Trust me, this is 
that good, that good and that good. But do not forget, Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at varava.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.